How you doing guys? We're here at Epcot. This is the first time we're ever gonna explore the Food and Wine Festival here at Walt Disney World. This is very exciting for us, especially since we get to try all the international foods around World Showcase. It's gonna be a great time. Why don't you join us today on this magic journey? Here we go. This is our first time enjoying Food and Wine. We usually do Flower and Garden in March. But this time we decided, let's check out Food and Wine and see what kind of offerings they have. Also, I heard there's a pickle milkshake. And you know on this channel, we like to eat interesting foods and that seems pretty interesting. So we're gonna have to go this way to get that pickled Scientific milkshake. Snack, this way. Is it a milkshake? It's a pickle milkshake. Oh my goodness. I know. <laughs> All right, well, let's go get it. So inside of here, the Muppets are working on some pickled milkshake creation. Look at all the beakers there. They're definitely working on some kind of foodie science. <laughs> there it is, the pickle jar. Ooh, the brewing lab at the Odyssey. Ready to try these foodie experiments? <laughs> yeah, the Muppet Labs. <laughs> First off, let me say that it smells delicious in here. It almost smells like, like spices and wings. <laughs> I don't smell any of the pickles, but I do smell the wings. Can't wait. Food and wine is going on until November 18th. So it starts July 27th, all the way to November 18th here at Epcot. I love this. Wow, these are the PB and J wings. What? And we also got some Parmesan wings. Yes. yes. <laughs> now I'm just waiting for the pickle shake. All right. What's going on, guys? Magic Journeys. I did a bump into him. Every time Why? I get a chance to see him, it's always a pleasure. We're happy they're on the East Coast. There we go. We, we love come being here. The West Coast. Thank you. Take this care. Life of Ours, check them out. It's so cool that we get to meet other content creators here too. We just saw This Life of Ours. They're really cool. Go check out their channel. They're fantastic. Did I was getting her a video of her pickled milkshake. She's so surprised at how beautiful it looks. Listen. And it comes in that cute beaker. I'm gonna keep this little beaker, this little mason jar. <laughs> wow. You know. We finally got our first official we food did. of food and wine. We got the peanut butter jelly wings, the garlic parmesan wings, and the famous pickle milkshake. Well, we don't know if it's famous yet because it's the <laughs> first time they've ever had it here, but I'm pretty sure since the Muppets made it, they've made it famous. We'll see, because <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> here we go, ready? It just says pickle milkshake, so I think that's just what it is, pickle milkshake, so cheers. I don't taste any pickle. It's not bad. <laughs> Might be bad for you, but not for me, because I hate pickle. You can taste a little dill, but not like an overpowering of pickle or dill. Dill pickle. <laughs> wow, hey, hold on. You gotta mix it. You would think it would be tangy or salty because of the dill, but it's not the case at all. It tastes more like a vanilla shake with a hint of dill. It almost tastes like a green shake, like those like ones where you put the celery and like the carrots and the arugula and the kale all in that like together. But it's not bad, but it's not my favorite. I wouldn't get this again though. But it's fun to look at and it's interesting. Hint of dill, but not really. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too overpowering, huh? No, I was hoping like, I was ready to. I'm like, okay, here it comes. It's gonna taste salty and very like vinegary, you know? Yeah, not But the no, case. it's just like a milkshake with a hint, like a hint of dill. Like, so yeah, it's a no for me. I think just stick with the regular pickle. <laughs> now it seems like the Muppets have also been experimenting with peanut butter and jelly because they must have accidentally dropped it on a bunch of wings. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, look at this. So these are peanut butter and jelly wings with peanuts on top and a nice little glaze. I'm guessing that's the peanut butter. I'm not sure. I also see some redness on the bottom. That could be the jelly. So let's try these out. That is very peanut buttery. <laughs> wow, there's a glaze on top that just tastes like pure peanut butter and it's very savory. The only thing is that I'm not getting much of the jelly. I can see it on the bottom of the tray and you could kind of dip it in there and get a little bit of sweetness, but it's it's a little too weird that it kind of throws me off a bit. I do like them, but I don't think I'd ever get them again. <laughs> but it's really fun to try something like this, the peanut butter and jelly wings. If you're here at Food & Wine, I just suggest you try them. Get one to share with everyone. I'm gonna try out these garlic parmesan wings, but I love the fact that they're smothered in the sauce. Because sometimes you get wings and it has like a little bit of sauce and a little bit of garlic parmesan and you're like, 
Where's the sauce? But these are drenched, so that makes me really happy. But Those are, they are good? very parmesan -y. Yeah, but are they good? It's a question, so. <laughs> now I have to test it out for you. Get ready for those mints because you're gonna order 16 of these. I'm telling you, these are the best things I've had so far. I love the garlic parmesan right on top. It's for the added texture. The sauce is nice and savory, but it's not too overpowering of garlic. And then the wings itself are crispy on the outside, but it's juicy on the inside. These are a 10 out of 10. I would definitely get these again than those peanut butter jelly ones that you got. Cause those are not it, but these are. <laughs> We're definitely having a wing party over here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Join the party. Yeah, I wish I would have gotten those Parmesan ones because the peanut butter are good, but after having so much of it, I'm like, all right, I'm kind of getting over butter. the flavor. Yeah, of peanut butter <laughs> wings. Don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Look at that. They're great in the food. I think those are the wings we just tried. <laughs> Wait, I didn't know this was around. We have to try this. The frozen fusion molecular formula. Whoa. Hey, the Muppets say it's, it's a good. Fusion Palooza. Ooh. All right, and also at the Brewing Lab, they have this here. Now this is a pomegranate and a raspberry herbal tea with orange ice cream dipping dots on top. Isn't that pretty? They look like dipping dots. I'm not sure if they're dipping dots, but they look like dipping dots. Let's try this out. They are dipping dots. This is a very refreshing drink. It is icy and this summer heat, trust me, you're gonna want this. It's got a nice sweet raspberry taste, but it's very heavy on the orange. It almost tastes like a raspberry orange creamsicle. It's very good, but most of all, it's very refreshing. I love this. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't mix both. Oh my gosh, that was not good. <laughs> so here at Food & Wine also, they have this Remy's Ratatouille Hide & Squeak, which is a really cool scavenger hunt for $9.99. You get to buy the map and you get to look for all of Remy's friends all around, uh, uh, I'm guessing the France Pavilion over there in World it's Showcase. It's Showcase, so it's all from here. So it's from Italy, down, 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 down. So all the food places. Oh. All right, so first we're gonna start over at the Mexico Pavilion. We're heading over right now to see what kind of food they have at that booth. I'm sure it's gonna be tasty, but we're gonna find out soon. All right, we decided to stop for some Joffrey's. It's a little hot today, so we thought we'd get something frozen like this. Now this is called the Cappuccino Frozen Dream. What was it? Cappuccino the frozen, frozen Dream. Frozen Cappuccino Dream. Yeah, frozen right. Cappuccino <laughs> Dream. <laughs> and what did you get? Just a cold brew with oat milk. Mm. I know, the water, I'm like, I need something to wake me up too, so we got this. Yeah, same here. Oh, it looks so good. It does. So over at the Mexico Pavilion, you can get yourself the tostada de carnitas. Now this is braised pork on a fried corn tortilla with black beans, avocado mousse, queso fresco, and chives. All right, taking a bite out of that tostada. Oh my goodness, guys, it was very tasty. I did love the carnitas, but it was a tad bit salty, but still very flavorful. And I did enjoy that avocado mousse. It had a nice citrusy taste that I really enjoyed. And I would recommend it to you when you're here at Food and Wine. You guys, look who we found. It's Nate, Mr. Bob. Hey, friends. Oh, very man. fancy. I'm so excited that I ran into you I guys know. here. Is this your first Food and Wine? This yeah, is our first, first Food and Wine. wine. Yeah. I cannot so wait to watch your video. Oh, Thank you're so you. great. I'm so excited. If you're planning a Walt Disney World trip, he is the guy to go to because he knows Thank you. everything. He like, makes you feel like yeah. you're at Walt Disney World. So and that's what it's all about. You want to be a part of that story and, and he takes you into cool it. Shirts. I love this one. It kind of, it kind of, it, this would be a good shirt for Festival of the Arts. I also got the taco de costillas, the slow braised short rib, corn tortilla with salsa de chile morita, avocado mousse, and spring onions. The taco de costilla is so savory. I love the meat. It falls apart in your mouth so easily and almost melts in your mouth actually. But the, my only thing is I wish it came with two, not one, just because they're so tiny. Other than that, I think it's pretty good and tasty. Maybe a slice of lime for the extra citrusness, but other than that, I say get it again. All right, next we're here in China. We're going to the booth to see what they have here. Again, this is new to us, so we have no idea. And so far, we've been pleasantly surprised. We enjoy the food, and I want something refreshing because look at me, I'm falling apart here. I'm starting to melt. So over at the China Pavilion booth, I got myself the crispy duck bao bun. The first bite I get, you guys, is that crispy duck. Oh my goodness, am I surprised how crispy it is. But then it's balanced well with that sweetness of the hoisin sauce. It's a perfectly balanced dish, and I'm so happy I got it because it's so cute and pretty. 
and yeah i think it's a 10 out of 10 it's definitely a must try for food and wine all right so right here i have the pan fried chicken dumplings now these are going to come with a nice house made sweet and spicy sauce i love the crispy outside it's been pan fried which makes it a little crispy i do like that side it's got a little bit of kick it's got that sweet and sour taste the only thing i don't like is the chicken it's a little on the bland side i'm not really getting any flavor from the chicken but uh, I would probably say there's nothing really special about these. I would probably skip these and go with something else. Since we're new here, we don't know about all the foods and all the restaurants. And if there's a restaurant you guys enjoy here or you guys really like, it doesn't have to be Epcot. It'd be anywhere, anywhere in Walt Disney World. Let me know. I'd, I'd like to know. I want to try these foods out. We're foodies after all. We want to taste the food. I had to get myself the passion fruit bubble tea. It's very pretty looking. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you got some bubbles in ya. I did, but... I was expecting tea, not like a like a soda. Wow. Oh. It's got a carbonation in it? Yeah, it's got carbonation in it. Huh. I was expecting like a tea, just like refresher drink, but it has some carbonation in there. It's like nectary, but sweet and a little bit of like citrusy, like almost like a little sour. Ooh. I like it. Quite refreshing, especially in this heat. Like you're gonna want like something like this and little bouncy bubbles. Look. There they go. <laughs> This is it for sure. Passion fruit, bubble tea. My way to go. <laughs> They're pretty good. <laughs> I love bubble tea. They're so Chewy. fun to drink. I know. I know you like these. All right, next part of the world. Next part go. of the world. We're here favorite. in the India booth and they got my favorite, the chicken tikka masala. I gotta get this. They have a really good one over Animal Kingdom. What's that restaurant called? Oh, I totally forgot. Darn. But doesn't matter when we're gonna get it here. Let's try it, let's try it. All right, chicken tikka masala. Oh, it smells so good. Oh man. <laughs> Over at the Indian booth, I had to get myself the mango lassi. Look at the vibrant colors, you guys. Like, you wow. can get this with alcohol, but we opted out without alcohol because I want to taste the, the drink itself. So cheers, here we go. Wow, that's so good. Yeah? I want like a huge cup of this. It almost tastes like a mango smoothie, but creamier, if that makes sense. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, I think there's supposed to be yogurt in there as well. That's what makes it creamy, I think. It's yeah. the yogurt. Wow, okay. Get your own because I ain't sharing hey, this one. Hey, nice. sure. It got that taste of mango. Right. Like a mango smoothie. Yes. But it's milky. It's like that yogurty taste. Uh -huh. Kind of like, I don't know how to explain it. There's a spice in it, kind of like gingery. I think right. that's the cardamom that's in here. Right. I love it. That love is it. refreshing, guys. This is good. I don't think I've ever tried this before, and I like this. And wherever they sell this, I need to go get some more. If you're here at the India booth, try the mango lassi. It is delicious. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here I have the chicken tikka masala. All right, so we've been to a few booths here at the Food and Wine Festival. And let me tell you, I've already found my favorite dish. I think, we haven't gone all around yet, but I really enjoy the flavor. It's got a nice smoky tomato taste. It's kind of cream based, so it's got a nice rich and creamy. It's got a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of tanginess. It is very flavorful, wow. I do like this. If you haven't tried the chicken tikka masala, you need to get it. It is fantastic. The rice is well cooked. Everything has a nice smoky flavor, very earthy. Oh my goodness. That is good. All right, next we made our way over to Kenya. We're gonna try these peri peri squid shrimp. So no wants to try. Thank you. Wow. The colors. The colors. When the, when the foot is pretty, you know it's gonna be good, hopefully. Hopefully, I don't know about that. <laughs> so over at the Kenya booth, I had to get myself this peri peri skewered shrimp with citrus couscous. Wow, you guys, I have no idea where to start. Let's start off with the shrimp. The shrimp holds in that peri peri sauce very well. It's almost like a lemon, tangy, spicy taste. I love the little slaw that comes on the side. It has like black beans, I believe, or some type of beans, tomato. It goes really well with the citrus couscous because the citrus couscous itself is a little dry for my liking, but when you pair it with that little beans on the side, oh my gosh, it's perfect. It's yummy, it's amazing, and it's perfect. So we just walked up to the food and wine merch and they have some really cute Encanto stuff. And then on this side here, they have Mickey Mouse and Minnie. I wanna go see what they have in both booths. So let's go check them out. So if you're a foodie, you're probably gonna like these lounge fly bags. Look, there's Epcot right there, Spaceship Earth. And these are for the food and wine festival. Look at that. 
so many foods to choose from on there. These are so cute. Right? Oh my goodness. If you're someone who's out looking for a launch fly bag, well, they got this really nice bag. There you go. <laughs> you so walking fun. around with two bags like that? I know, right? <laughs> one for the essentials and one for the food. There you go. <laughs> have Maribel this year for the food and wine pins. That's very cute. Encanto pins for $19.99. Pretty cool. And they have another one here for $17.99. Now, I think I like this one a little bit more. Yeah, this one has a whole family in there. Yeah. I like this one too, because it has everyone. Look. They do a hat. Whoa. It says, choose your course. Choose your coarse ears. Look at this. It's beautiful. Right? And I think what we're trying to say is like, which course do you go? Do you go Mexico first or Canada? Yeah, so here at Epcot, <laughs> they have two ways you can start. You can either start through Canada or you can go through Mexico. Mexico. And we always, for us, it's tradition. We always uh -huh. go through Mexico. 100%. But there's some people who start at Canada. But you let us know in the comments below, where do you start off? Canada or Mexico? <laughs> Look, it's a hamburger, but it's they're coasters. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a very flat hamburger. It's a flat hamburger, but hey, I like it. Look at this shirt, guys. You know I'm all about these type of shirts, and this one is catching my eye. The Food and Wine Festival, and it's one of these like nice material shirts that kind of breathe. Yeah, I like that. These the ones I'm wearing are a little thick. This is like that breathable material. I like it. So they have this little place called Quirk Tunes where they'll draw whatever you want, maybe yourself or your puppy on a, on a cork. <laughs> and you can get it personalized for about uh, $25. Comes with a dome and a display. Pretty cool. $20 for just the cork and the dome. Cork and, the dome. Mm -hmm. and if you want the display, it's $25, so not bad. So I have this little stuffed animal that Miguel got me like, like maybe like four years ago that I travel with everywhere I go. And I had to get it in a cute little like, Pork? You guys, how cute is this? I have to open it up and show you. It's pretty cool because they could basically take your picture of you. If you have a picture of your mom on your phone or whoever your that you mom, care your about or yourself, anyone. they could put it on a little pork. <laughs> yeah, so that came off a picture from Janelle's phone and they did such a great job. <laughs> so cute. They're looking at me like, what? But you know what? And they liked it the most. They're like, this is the most the unique, unique one. <laughs> yeah, like request of a, of a quirk. And I'm like, that's really cool. So if you guys have like a picture of, of mom, dad, brother, sister, or friend, or a or loved one. Or something unique, like a stuffed animal like me. Yeah. Give yourself a cute little souvenir to take home. It's nice. <laughs> Thank oh, you wow. so much. Thank you so much. Have a good night. All right, so right here we have the paella with saffron rice, chorizo, and shrimp. What a fantastic dish. Okay, first we start with the shrimp, and let me tell you, it's perfectly cooked. It's got a nice flavor. The rice has got that seafood taste. I love it very much. And the chorizo, wow, smoky, flavorful. This whole thing works. It's a little mini paella. I wish it had clams on it. That'd be awesome. And I wish it was bigger, too. Can't have it all. It is very tasty. And if you're here in Spain, I definitely recommend you try it for yourself. Now, we were planning to go to Italy, but the lines were so big that we're like, you know what? We're just going to skip over and go to America. So, right here, they have the flavors of America. Uh, we got ourselves chilaquiles. So, these chilaquiles look pretty good. I love, that's like my favorite dish. And just like the paella <laughs> and the chicken tikka masala, I've been saying that a lot. But here at Flavors of America, we're gonna try the chilaquiles. So I got the chilaquiles plate. It has corn tortilla chips, salsa verde with ranchero chicken, queso fresco, cilantro lime crema, and a soft poached egg right on top. Now this is a dish I probably won't get again, just because the tortilla chips itself, they're kind of bland to me, and it doesn't hold that salsa verde taste. But what I do like is that ranchera chicken, that I really like. It's a little mushy for my liking. I say skip out on this and get something else from the festival because this is not good. <laughs> we got some music out here in Epcot too. Free show. It's called Eat to the Beat. Wow, so far we've eaten so much good food, some hits, some misses, but I think it's time to take a little break because it is hot and all that walking, I 
can feel it on my legs for sure. I feel it, <laughs> it in my legs. It took you a second, there you go. <laughs> This is Janelle's favorite pavilion here. This is the Japan Pavilion. And she wants to go inside and look at the nice merch. And she I thought maybe it. she'd get herself some treats. Come on oh, in. She's so excited. I am. So one thing Janelle and I just realized is that Epcot closes at nine and it's already 8.30. So we're never gonna be able to get through the whole World Showcase and all the foods, but we did so many. And uh, that's, that's kind of a bummer that Epcot closes at nine o'clock, especially when they have like food and wine. You'd think they'd close a little bit later but uh, still, we had a great time. And hopefully the next time we come around, we get to try all the foods here at Epcot. And I think, and I think also some of the booths over in Canada are closed and they, don't, they have a specific date so they will open. Oh, so not all booths are not open? Not all booths are open right now. Oh. So the opening day, which there is you go. weird. See, we're new, we're new guys. We don't know much about food and wine. We've done a little bit of research, but there's some stuff we still don't know because we're Disneyland people. We're not Walt Disney World people. But if you guys ever have any tips for us, and you guys love Walt Disney World, and you guys have visited, and you know so much about it, let us know. Ooh, this candy. So pretty. So pretty. You almost don't want to eat it because you don't want to show how pretty it is. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Right? The ones that are your favorite, huh? I love these. It tastes like jellies. the actual fruit that it shows. So if there's a grape, it tastes like a juicy grape. <laughs> These are delicious. Epcot Forever is going to start soon. So we're standing here by the water so we can see the fireworks. And we looked out on a good spot, huh? I think we got a pretty I good think spot. So too. Look at that. We got the water right there. World Showcase Lagoon. <laughs> <laughs> and in just 10 minutes, the sky will sparkle with color and light as Epcot proudly presents Epcot Forever, our amazing fireworks spectacular. Forever is just a temporary show, but I just love it. Look, my band is lit up. It's vibrating too. Mine never, mine never lights up, you guys. <laughs> that was so much fun. And even though we didn't do all the foods here at Showcase, I just had the best time trying out so many different foods from different lands. A lot of them were great. Some were misses, but a lot of them were great. We got to see the fireworks, and Janelle and I got to hang out yes, we did. at our I'm first so ever happy. food and wine. We got to, yeah, we got to enjoy food and wine <laughs> for the first time. It was great. Man, what a fantastic time <laughs> we had here at the Food and Wine Festival, our very first food, food and wine festival. Yes. A lot of great food, very tasty treats. What did you think? Oh my gosh, don't get me started. So many yummies, especially that tikka masala you had. Oh, that was one of my favorites. Winner. <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoyed the paella too. I wish we just would have gotten a little bit further from uh, Japan. That's the last country I, I think know. we tried any more food. And that's because the park closes at nine o'clock. I wish it closed a little later and we probably would have come, we probably would have been able to do all the World Showcase. I know, so maybe next time we come back to Food and Wine, we get to try most of the foods. But I think it's a I'm challenge. I'm just lucky we tried some good enough. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> guys, we really want to thank you for coming along on these adventures. Thank you for everything you do. We're going to see you guys here next time on Magic, Magic Journeys. Journeys. Bye.